Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. Today, we're going to be discussing a creature from Mordenkind's Monsters of the Multiverse, a player creature, player character race, known as the Herongon. Originally, these guys were printed in the Wild Beyond the Witchlight Feywild Adventure, and then reprinted in Mordenkainen's so that everyone knew about them. Herongon are rabbit people. And rabbit people are awesome, honestly. They've got some cool abilities. Before we get into them, though, I wanted to mention that the channel now has memberships. And uh, if you feel like supporting the channel and you just can't get enough of Relax Fantasy Review, there's a join button just under the video. For a dollar a month, you get a badge next to your name when you comment on my videos. Helps me see who's supporting. Helps me prioritize in the comments quicker. And, uh, yeah, you'll just get my undying gratitude for supporting the channel. Talking about the Herringon, first of all, you get to choose your size, medium or small. That's actually really nice, because depending on whether you're going for the nimble, stealthy build, or the more regular size build, it's up to you, really. This choice means you I give that a 10 out of 10. As far as their speed is concerned, you'd think rabbit people would be fast, but for some reason, no. They just have a standard 30-foot speed, nothing wrong with that, but strange. I say 9 out of 10. Then you've got the hair trigger uh, ability. And this one is honestly something that I wish more races had. Uh, they are proficient in initiative rolls. Basically, whenever you roll initiative, you add your dex modifier to it. But Herringons get to add their proficiency bonus to it as well, meaning that they get a buff to their initiative, and that's really nice. Honestly, Hair Trigger is a really good ability no matter who you are. Most people want to go first in combat, so 9 out of 10 for that. Then you have Leoprene Sense, which gives you proficiency in the perception skills. Uh, perception is the best skill in the game, most useful for sure. Everyone wants to see stuff. So 10 out of 10 there. And then you have uh, the Lucky Feet. Rabbit's Feet. Lucky Feet. Um, lucky Feet is a cool one because every time you make a dexterity saving throw, if you fail it, you can use your reaction to roll a d4 and add it to the roll. The cool thing is, is there's no limit to this. It takes your reaction, so there's that. Um, and you can't be prone or have your speed be um, zero, so you can't have anything that's restraining you, basically. But most of the time, that's not going to be the case. And adding a d4 to anything is nice in this game. That's a 2.5 boost. And uh, for dex saves, with no limitation... This is pretty good. I say 9 out of 10. Then, finally, you have the Rabbit Hop. I guess this is to make up for the fact that they don't have extra speed. Proficiency bonus times per day. They can use their bonus action to jump five times their proficiency bonus. So at a first level 1 character, that's a 10-foot jump. And all the way at the top of play, a level 20 character, that's a 30-foot jump. What's cool is that this power doesn't specify if it's a horizontal or a vertical jump. So in theory, this means a herring gun can just jump 30 feet straight into the air at the end of the game. Um, I would rank this higher if it was unlimited, but it's not. It's proficiency bonus times per day. Uh, feels like an arbitrary limit because it's a jump. Jumps don't really come up that much. And uh, it's a bonus action to do it, so it does tax you a little bit in combat. It's not bad by any means. It's just limited. I give it 8 out of 10. And overall, the Heron Gun gets a 9 out of 10. They have some really good proficiencies. Boost to their dex saves, boost to proficiency, uh, per to perception, boost to initiative. All of this is good stuff. They're fast, agile, and perceptive creatures. Get, add on to that that you get to choose your size, and you can't really go wrong here. Like, anyone who, you know, would lean into the more nimble style of gameplay would enjoy playing a Heron God. So I think that this, these guys are absolutely a 9 out of 10 race. Real good pick. 
This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below. Have a look out for that join button, and I'll see you guys in the next one for more race reviews. Have a good one, my friends.